In vino veritas, in wine lies the truth. And we, a voracious society, have made a $300 billion industry out of this merry drink. And why not? This is a drink that was created by gods, cultivated by kings, and consumed by heroes. With as many gods patronizing it as war. We thought we had reached the heavens already, but it just feels that way after a glass or two. Perhaps now, it's the machines that are getting drunk. Not on robot oil, but on their success with wine. This one's all about getting closer to the truth. And someone please pour me a glass of that beautiful truth. Upgrad Future Forward. Stories from the now about the future. If you ask a vineyard manager how they estimate their yield, you're in for a very, very long conversation. It's an art. No wait, it's a science. Maybe a bit of both, and definitely a whole lot more complicated. An average vineyard ranges anywhere between 50 acres to 200 acres, the biggest one being 11,000 acres. And so the process of visually inspecting all the clusters of crops is just impractical. Usually, experts employ cluster sampling. They take a piece of smaller land within the huge area and base their final calculations on the results they get from that smaller piece of land. However, this often makes a very accurate process not very accurate at all. Because the interventions required for the optimum yield are applied all over the vineyard, which then leads to non-optimal yield and sometimes low-quality wine because grapes of different ripeness states tend to be mixed together. So now, it's time to discuss that age-old democratic problem. Is there really strength in diversity? Or in this case, variability? The answer is yes. And it's all thanks to precision viticulture, which is all about identifying and managing variability in a vineyard, so that every cluster of grapes is looked at individually on its own merit. Weaker clusters are identified faster across the vineyard, and a customized corrective plan is developed to deal with that particular cluster's needs only. This helps in optimizing vineyard performance by maximizing its grape yield and quality. Precision viticulture does all of that by keeping a constant check on the local factors like soil, topography, microclimate, and vine health that influence grape production. It uses technologies like GPS, environment sensors, satellite and remote sensing, and GIS or Geographic Information Systems to respond to any variability in local factors. So the system works. All it needs now is an appropriate enforcer. Enter VinBot. VinBot is an all-terrain autonomous mobile robot equipped with a set of sensors capable of capturing and analyzing vineyards data by cloud computing applications. With a small computer for basic functions, a 3D range finder for navigation, high precision color cameras, this robot is the complete package. However, this sizzling piece of chrome is hardly just a show pony. It's also able to evaluate 1. Shoot tip stress in the plant 2. Excessive water supply in the fields 3. Heat and water stress to the plant 4. Canopy color and density 5. Berry and cluster shape and size and 6. Diseases and nutrient deficiencies in the plant To think that all of this technology is being deployed so that your truth is fuller, richer and with a fruity note to its flavor. But a drink as legendary as wine deserves nothing less. Here's to a drink as old as civilization itself, trying another new bottle. And here's to the good old times, the ones long past and the many more to come. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from Upgrad.